Joining us now from the annual security forum in Aspen, NBC News chief Washington correspondent and chief foreign affairs correspondent, host of Andrea Mitchell Reports, Andrea Mitchell. And Andrea, you had a rare and wide ranging interview with the head of the CIA. Tell us about that. Good morning, Mika. Well, CIA Director William Burns, who, as you know, is a former U.S. ambassador to Russia and is really one of the world's top experts on Vladimir Putin, the last U.S. official to meet face to face with the Russian leader before he invaded Ukraine. So I spoke with Director Burns about Putin's state of mind and his goals now as Russia is expanding its military efforts in Ukraine. Nearly five months into its brutal war on Ukraine, Russia's military assaults on the country remain relentless, saying it will move beyond the Donbas region in eastern Ukraine to threaten other areas, including Odessa, with a grinding war of attrition. So he can strangle the Ukrainian economy, he can wear down European publics and leaderships, and he can wear down the United States. Putin was wrong in his assumptions about breaking the alliance and breaking Ukrainian will before the war began, and I think he's just as wrong now. Russia's cost is high, around 15,000 troops dead and three times as many injured. So this week, Moscow turning to Iran for armed drones. What are the implications of this new, stronger alliance of adversaries? The purpose of those drones is to kill Ukrainian civilians in a brutal and unprovoked war of aggression. As he's waged war, Putin has been plagued with rumors about his health. Would you describe him as unstable? Unhealthy? As far as we can tell, he's entirely too healthy. Um... <laughs> Against the backdrop of war and America's support for Ukraine is WNBA superstar Brittany Griner, who's been detained in Russia for more than five months. Overnight, a tribute for her at the ESPY Awards. We cannot stop fighting for her. We cannot stop, stop believing for her, and we will not stop hoping for the day when we can welcome her home safely. These are awful and shameful steps uh, to hold American citizens for political leverage as well. I mean, I, in Brittany Griner's case, my heart goes out to her wife and her family as well. And in addition, uh, in addition to all of the other global crises, the CIA is now also assessing how climate change will create new conflicts over food and water, and this on top of COVID. I also asked Director Burns about the possibility of China invading Taiwan, and he believes that Xi Jinping is determined to take control of Taiwan, but has learned from Russia's experience in Ukraine that a quick victory will only come by using overwhelming force. But he said it's not a question of if, it's a question of when. Andrea, did, direct, did Director Burns get into at all uh, his counsel? Who was around him? Who is close to him? Who is advising him? Apparently, uh, Sergei Lavrov is no longer as close to Putin as he used to be. But did Director Burns get into that at all? Yes, indeed. He talked about how when he saw him in November and basically to warn him against the invasion, he has now become very isolated. We certainly saw that, you know, during COVID when he was sitting at the long table. And he's not listening to very many people, listening to his defense minister, but very few other people. And he is hardened. He is just completely consumed with his own legacy and with his idea that he has to restore imperial Russia and that that is essentially including Ukraine, that Ukraine is not a country, he kept saying to him. Ukraine is part of Russia, and that that's, that is his goal. Now, he is making judgments and taking risks that, you know, uh, we've all seen were, were wrong and, and immoral and horrible, and that Bill Burns say were completely misguided, and we saw how badly his calculation was in the first couple of days. He thought he was going to overtake this country. Burns thinks he is still wrong, but that now he does think that this war of attrition will work for him if he can get to the winter, that Europe will cave in with the higher energy prices. Uh, but that, you know, Bill Burns' judgment is that he is wrong again and that Europe will remain united, Ukraine is resilient. But it's obviously at a huge cost to both sides. 
NBC's Andrea Mitchell, thank you very much uh, for that report and that interview. We appreciate wow, it. that's something.